We have a whole parenting program on how to raise emotionally intelligent children. A lot of the techniques you'll learn today will apply to that. However, there's one thing I can tell you that you can do. If you want to help, make your, help your kids be more emotionally intelligent, that is lead by example. Behavior is driven 75% by modeling. 75% of kids' behavior is driven by modeling. And you know this, I have a three-year-old. If I put a bowl on top of my head, I put the bowl down, she puts the bowl on top of her head. Whatever you are modeling for that child today will become their default behaviors 20 years from now. If you come home and you complain about your boss and you don't do anything about it, that child's going to be coming home 20 years from now and complain about their boss and not do anything about it. So model what you want them to learn. By the way, it's, it's, just, it's exactly the same with employees. Employees are just kids with longer legs. Your, what you do will have a significant effect on how they, their own leadership, their personal leadership, how they interact with members. I mean, you can't belittle a staff person and then expect them to treat a member well because they're triggered, they're hijacked. That's what's been modeled. So your own modeling is critical in this. You know, having said that, I want to be clear, we all make mistakes, right? I still get hijacked sometimes, not nearly as much as I used to. You know, we also want to model being vulnerable. And I'll tell my daughter, you know, Daddy made a mistake. He shouldn't have said that. Daddy was fr frustrated. You know, next time, Daddy will do that. I mean, or with an employee. You know, I, I'm, I'm sorry. You know, model. Model vulnerability. Model authenticity. It's okay. By the way, don't try to be perfect for your kids, or they're going to try to be perfect in 20 years. And no one is perfect. It's okay to be imperfect. 